Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to control these three servo motors with the help of servo motor controller board which is PCA9685 using Arduino Uno. As you can see I have here Arduino Uno and this is what our PCA9685 board okay. PCA9685 with the help of this board you can control 15 servo motor okay so right now I have here three servo motor which I have connect with the PCA9685 using Arduino Uno okay so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as I mentioned we are going to control the servo motors with the help of Arduino Uno and our PCA9685 board. Okay, of course you can use here window machine for Arduino ID software but I am going to use here our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian Buster legacy version. Okay, so now first I am going to share with you how you can connect the Arduino Uno board with PCA9685 and how to connect the servo motors with PCA9685 okay so for that first we need to move on our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian Buster legacy version desktop machine okay so friends now we are on our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian Buster legacy version desktop machine okay as I mentioned simply you can use your windows machine for Arduino IDE software okay simply you need to first visit the arduino.cc this is what their official website and from here you need to download the setup.exe file for windows machine as you can see the windows win 10 and newer 64 bits simply if you click here and it will download the setup.exe file simply we need to click on just download okay and as you can see it's downloading the setup.exe file but right now as I mentioned we are on our Raspbian Buster legacy version machine for that first we need to install the Raspberry Pi apps software on our Raspbian Buster legacy version okay so simply as I mentioned if you want to use here Windows machine simply you can use here Windows machine for Arduino IDE software okay but right now we are on Raspbian Buster so we need to first install our Pi apps for that I have created here a repository the repository name is Arduino Uno PCA9685 this is what the repository I will mention the link inside the description box you need to simply copy and paste the link inside the browser then go to the code copy the link and we are going to clone our repository so just open terminal clear the screen and first let me make here a zoom in for better clarity okay so now we are ready and just again copy the link and we are going to clone the repository so sudo git clone sudo git clone and just paste the link of the repository and just hit enter okay it will clone our repository inside that I have shared with you the code for the PCA9685 okay uh, then also I have shared the images for PCA9685 board pin out images and the Arduino Uno pin out board images simple okay so we have successfully download our repository now what we want to do as I mentioned first we want to install the Pi apps okay so if I go inside the menu session accessories as you can see I have already installed the Pi apps okay so first you need to go inside the file manager and our repository which we have just clone the repository name is Arduino Uno PCA uh, PCA 9685 okay then inside that as you can see the install txt file and this is the link for installing our Pi app so simply open terminal copy the link from the text file and just paste the command inside the terminal just hit enter it will install the Pi apps on our Raspberry Pi 4 okay as you can see it's now installing okay so friends as you can see installation complete it means we have successfully installed our Pi apps now we need to open our menu accessories and Pi apps it will open Pi apps okay and then go to the all apps and here it is as you can see the Arduino simply click on the Arduino 
and as you can see it will open this kind of window so i have already installed the arduino id software on our buster okay as you can see that's why it says the install you need to simply click on the install button and it will auto install the arduino id software on our raspberry pi 4 raspbian buster that's it so we have now our arduino id software ready now what we want to do as i mentioned how to connect the arduino the pca 9685 board so that's why i have here inside the uh, repository i have here pins diagram the pins out or we can say the pins layout simple so this is what our arduino uno board okay and we are going to use here let me make like this way and we are going to make here a zoom in okay so the pins which we are going to use here a 3.3 volt then 5 volt for power our servo motors for power on our servo motors then we are going to use here a4 because the a4 is basically sda and scl is a5 so a4 a5 then 5 volt 3 volt and of course we are going to use here our ground ground pin okay so this is the pins which we are going to use the ground 3.3 volt 5 volt and the a4 which is sda pin and a5 which is scl pin okay so this is what our arduino Uno side now our pca 96 8 5 board okay so as you can see the pins which we are going to use here the scl sda vcc and v plus and the ground so v plus which we are going to use for power in our servo motor so v plus which we want to connect with the arduino uno board 5 volt pin okay so if i make like this way then you will get the better idea so this is what our arduino uno okay and this is what our pca 9685 board okay let just one minute okay i hope you all see clear now so friends as i mentioned we are going to use your 3.3 volt pin for power in our pca 9685 board okay so 3.3 volt pin you want to connect with the pca 9685 board pin number vcc so vcc you want to connect with 3.3 volt of the arduino uno board okay then we want to connect the sda pin so where it is our sda pin just a minute the actually the image is changed okay this is what our uno board image so sda okay so sda is basically a4 so sda which we want to connect with the pca 9685 board sda pin so this is what our sda so sda connect with the sda which is the a4 uh, of our uno board then scl which is the a5 so scl which we want to connect with the scl of our servo motor board which is scl here it is as you can see scl so scl connect with the scl a5 sda connect with the sda a4 okay and the vcc connect with 3.3 volt of uno board then the v plus so v plus is basically for power in our servo motor so v plus which we want to connect with the 5 volt so 5 volt connect with the v plus then 3 volt connect with the vcc then sda connect with the sda then scl connect with the scl and ground connect with the ground pin of our uno board so here it is what our ground you can connect the ground with the ground or you can use also because we have here this side also we have here ground pin so you can use this ground for connecting the ground pin with our servo motor driver board so ground connect with the ground then scl connect with the scl sda connect with the sda vcc connect with the 3.3 volt and v plus connect with the 5 volts okay so this is how you need to connect the servo motor board with the uno board okay now simply we are ready because we have already installed our arduino id software on our buster of course if, if you are on the window machine simply open the arduino id software so menu programming arduino id it will open our arduino id software okay so friends our software is open now what we want to do we want to install the arduino pwm library on our software so simply go to the tools then manage libraries it will open manage libraries window okay so friends our library manager is open and here you need to search for adafruit pwm then adafruit pwm servo driver library 
okay simply you need to click on install and it will install the latest version of adafruit pwm server driver library on our software so as you can see i have already installed that's it now we have done with installing our library now simply what we want to do we want to open our sketch inside the software so simply simply open our repository which we have just download and this is what our sketch as you can see test.ino so simply we need to move this sketch inside our folder so click on home and here it is what our arduino uh, folder arduino and inside that slash home slash pi arduino we need to simply paste our sketch which is the test.ino that's it now simply go to the file click on open and we are going to open from pi arduino and this is what our sketch test.ino simply click on open okay it will create first the test folder okay so click on okay and now we need to simply close this one and this one also and we are going to open our sketch okay so this is what our sketch if i open the file manager arduino folder and here it is as you can see it's created the test folder and inside that test folder we have our sketch test.ino okay you can mention basically any name or, or if you want to change the name you can simply change the sketch name that's it so friends as you can see this is what our sketch as you can see i have called here adafruit pdm servo driver dot h okay then at the end as you can see uh, we need to mention pwm dot set pwm so the range for the servo motor uh, is basically start with 400 and end at the 90 okay so simply this is how you can uh, control the pwm of the servo for our pca 9685 board okay then if i open the uh, driver image again so here it is as you can see we have here basically 15 pins on the board means we can control the 15 servo motors okay so here inside the sketch as you can see i have mentioned here servo number okay is greater than three this servo number greater than three is basically mentioned for how many pins which we want to use here from our uh, controller or we can say from our board so right now i want to use here only three pins so for that i have mentioned if the servo number is greater than three means i just want to use here these three pins so zero one two three if you want to use here suppose if you want to go with the seven pins so you need to simply change this value and mention here eight it means it will use the pins at the eight okay so if the servo number is greater than eight it means you can connect the eight motors eight servo motors with our pca 9685 board if you want to use all the pins simply mention greater than 15 then you can connect the 15 servo motors with the board simple so this is how you can mention the pins of the pca 9685 board so let me just mention here let's say four okay so now we are ready and we need to simply go inside the tools select the board board arduino uno so from here arduino avr board select the arduino uno then go to the tools port slash dev slash tty acm zero as you can see arduino uno simply select it and now we are ready now we need to simply upload the sketch inside our board and then our servo motor will be move as we mentioned inside the code okay so if i upload the code so friends as you can see we have successfully uploaded the code so this is how you can control the servo motors with the help of arduino uno board and pca 9685 board in next session we are going to use the face tracking module which is the open cv and then we are going to control the servo motors with the help of arduino uno board and pca 9685 till then thank you take care and bye bye